Hey guys, this is the Inksmith. I am signing in, telling you all about my experience with Inktober. So for Inktober, for those of you who don't know, it's a holiday for artists where you do an ink drawing every single day of October. Normally it's Halloween or spooky themed and uh, a lot of people use prompt lists. I have decided that this year I was gonna do all digital illustration, digital inking, so kind of cheating, hope you can forgive me, but uh, I also decided to do witches and their familiars. Now for those of you who don't know, a familiar is basically a witch's pet that helps them with their magic. So I, and I thought it would be fun to try to integrate the features of these pets into the witches themselves. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put together time lapses of my process, explaining why I did what I did. Uh, one video for every seven days. Hopefully I stay really on top of it and I get all of them done, all 31. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I would love to hear what you guys would love to see for future familiars. Please uh, comment down below if you have a familiar you'd like to see, but let's just get into it. So, on my first witch, I decided to do a black cat witch, and uh, I kind of wanted to keep them all kind of uh, themed, so I decided to go with punk. So I wanted this girl to be the type that like goes to a party and brings her cool cat and is totally ready to curse anybody who just looks at her wrong. So in order to achieve this cat look, I gave her kind of these long slanted uh, slit eyes, and I gave her this wide Cheshire grin. And then I thought that the space buttons really helped out with giving that whole idea of like a cat. And then I also gave her kind of this cool like street style punk hoodie with like the cute cat face. Um, and I love the cat's smile. I just thought that he was like so devilish looking. And uh, yeah, I just wanted her to really read punk. And lots of belts and like the boots and everything. Altogether, I'm super happy with how she came out. I think that she looks totally tough, totally cool. Uh, yeah, just super happy. What a great start to Inktober. Yeah, so for my second witch, I decided to do an owl. And so for the owl, I just knew that it was all about the face shape going really round and giving her these gigantic, curious eyes. And uh, then it just, after that it was so easy, I decided to give her like kind of this cloak and the layers kind of look like feathers and the hood has these kind of like horned tufts like a horned owl. And uh, yeah, I really just wanted to go for cozy, cute, and like a bookworm. I see this witch as the type that, you know, holds herself up in a library all night, just exploring, searching out all the mysteries in the world and uh, yeah, like a total Hermione type, and just really cute. I really wanted to focus on cute for this one, and I think that it came out really cool. Alright, and on to witch number three. Now, witch number three came together so quick. I, I think it was like my second drawing, and I knew I already had her all figured out. Uh, so this one is the snail witch, and I just really love the idea of having the grossest kind of animal be the most aristocratic and beautiful of all the witches so far. I wanted to really go for regal and posh, like old blood. Um, and I just love how it came out. I thought that the idea of putting a snail shell on a bustle was a really funny idea, um, and kind of using the ruffles of the dress to kind of simulate the underside of a snail, all slimy and kind of gross, and then the repeated spiral aspect, I just thought it came out really cool, really sleek. This is clearly the shortest one because I just, I got her, and I really love how she came out. So for witch number four, I thought that it would be really fun to do one that was more like a superhero. Uh, kind of, I was, I was channeling the idea of like Raven and Power Girl from DC Comics. And so I decided to, yeah, kind of make her more muscular and like the curvy figures that you would see in comic books. Uh, for really passing the idea of crow, I thought it was funny that I would literally just make her hair a crow. If you look, the side bangs are like wings, the back of it is like a tail, and the little tuft in the middle is like the head of the crow. And so, yeah, it was a pretty easy way to sell the idea of crow. And then, uh, I also wanted to give her this, like, skirt cape. 
And the only thing I could really think of was Riku from Kingdom Hearts in the first game when he turns evil. Uh, I always thought that that skirt cape was like such a weird, cool detail. And uh, tried it out here for like tail feathers, and I think it came out really cool. Um, for this one, I definitely wanted to go goth punk, and I love it. I see this as the type of witch that lives in like the heart of an urban environment and lurks in coffee houses ready to intervene where she sees fit. So now on to my fifth witch, and witch five was actually a crocodile. Uh, it's the witch with a crocodile familiar, and I tried a whole bunch of versions that I don't even have on here. Uh, I did one with like cowgirl boots, and I did another one that was kind of like a slinky swamp, like siren kind of thing, but it just kept reading more like snake rather than crocodile. And uh, so in the end, I kind of took a weird way. I went like a dancer, but mixed with Link from The Legend of Zelda. Um, I just love this idea of a uh, cap that is an alligator, or I'm sorry, a crocodile uh, tail. And then I wanted to go with kind of like ragged, burlap kind of look. And uh, yeah, I just, once I kind of got that vibe, it really started coming together, but I realized what I was in for, because uh, one of the most defining characteristics of crocodiles is their scales. They have these kind of squared scales, so I realized I was going to have to spend a lot of time doing these details. Uh, so this one I actually published a day late because of all the scale work, uh, and you know, life gets busy, but it's okay, you get caught up. Um, I also had a lot of fun with this familiar. It's easily my favorite one so far. It's just so happy and cute. Um, it's like a vicious little puppy. Love it. Um, yeah, so I just went through here and I really wanted to get this idea of mysterious and dance. I really want to dance in there because I love the idea of like a foggy swamp and this uh, elfin kind of creature uh, dancing through the fog and, you know, casting magical spells in the bayou. I just really fell in love with that idea, so I think that I gave this witch a little more time than the rest of them, but I'm really satisfied with how it came out. Now for witch number six. This would be my uh, monkey witch. And this was another one that just came super easy to me, so this one's pretty quick for a time lapse. I wanted to go for kind of boyish for this one. Boyish and really happy. Uh, I gave her a short hairstyle that she could do lots of acrobatics with. I wanted to keep her feminine, so I gave her the kind of magician's assistant leotard. But I also wanted to make her look uh, circus and monkeyish, so I gave her these kind of large uh, wide pants, uh, kind of look like monkey legs, like ready to spring into action. And uh, I just love her. I think that she would be the type who works in a circus just to make children smile, super happy, friendly type. Um, and yeah, she, this one came out really nice. I love the ears. I think they're so funny. And her little monkey friend is really cute.
All right, so we made it to witch number five, uh, number seven, and uh, witch number seven has uh, firefly familiars. Now this one I had a lot of fun just kind of making a story with. I had this idea of a rural country girl, uh, like 12 years old, very young, and she's only just discovered that after being blind and helpless her whole life, she has the magical ability to see by firefly light. So this little girl starts collecting fireflies and decides to strike it on her own deep in the forests um, and explore her new magic powers. So for this one, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I loved making the overalls, kind of implying the rural youth going on. And uh, I love the idea of like a blindfold, like closing out the rest of the world, whatever little she could see, now she can see so much more just by keeping everything else shut out. And uh, I gave her lots of like scrapes and twigs in her hair because she's figuring out how to navigate for the first time. Uh, and that's going to take some trial and error, especially out in the forest. It's not going to be exactly easy or friendly. Um, I also gave her like her hair is like a bun that has um, kind of like the abdomen of a firefly going on. And the bow kind of acts like the carapace as well as the double tailed vest. Yeah, and it just kind of comes together like a little girl who is a firefly herself who is off to explore her magic. All right, and with that, that is it for all of my witches. That is seven of them all this uh, first week of October, and I'm hoping that I can stay on task and give you all 31 all on time finishing by Halloween. Um, I had so much fun with these first witches, but I would love to hear what you guys would love to see. Is there a familiar that you would love to see? Is there a type of witch that you would love to see? Is there like a fashion trend that you would want to see uh, kind of represented in these themes? I would love to hear about it. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you want. If you want to follow my journey, I also have a Society6 if you want some of these as prints on uh, t-shirts or something. If there's a witch that just is like super cool, you want to represent it, I would love to help you out with that. Um, also, uh, I'm hoping that I stay on task with this. Right now I'm going through uh, a transition in my life. I'm trying to get a job in an animation studio and guys, it is really tough. So uh, really wish me luck there. I'm doing everything I can to take on this job search with sincerity, but man, it is really, really hard and I am trying to keep my head up uh, in an industry that they can tell you you're awesome at what you do, but then they'll still not offer you a job. So I'm trying my best, I'm trying to go through it and really learn a lot, uh, even personally, not just artistically, as I go through this because it has been uh, really stretching my character. So wish me luck on that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, um, I really appreciate it. I hope that I can keep these witches coming for you. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, bye.